In this video, we're going to walk through the process of creating an ad inside of Facebook for our page for us to promote. And then we're going to see how we can use our custom audience with that ad. So I'm on the page that I've created here for the Michigan golf course fans. I've just created this and we're going to walk through the process of creating an ad or a post that we're going to promote. So I'm going to click on photo or video. And when I click on that, it's going to give me the ability to upload a photo or video. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm just going to grab this picture of a golf ball that I went out and found. And we're going to go ahead and put that on there. And then we're going to say something. We can say what we want to put on this page. And I can type in anything in here that I want. Uh, let's see. Do you uh, want a directory of Michigan golf courses? And once I have that in there, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell them to check out. And let's put a web page in here. Um, so we'll go ahead and do Michigan uh, Golf Course Directory dot com. So this is going to be our website. We're going to go ahead and give them the ability to put that in there. Now you can put anything in here that you want. You can add additional photos. You could put videos. Just something that you want to be able to promote. Now once you've got all that in there, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on Post. And it'll put that post, and you can see the post in there. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to actually go into our Ads Manager. So let's go ahead and click on Ads Manager. And it'll take us over to the Ads Manager. And you'll see we don't have any ads running. But what we want to do first is make sure that we get our custom audience, that audience that we created with ULead Pro. Now we already did that in the last video, but let's go ahead and bring up ULead Pro. And I'll just show you really quick. I've already done the search. I've already pulled up 100 people. What we want to do is we want to, for these people who live in Michigan, we want to export this. Click on export and we're going to go ahead and give this a name, uh, Golf People Michigan. Go ahead and click on save and it'll tell us that it exported successfully. We'll go ahead and go back to Facebook, click on Audiences, and we've got a couple in there already, but let's go ahead and create an audience, data file, custom audience, put in the name, and we'll just say golf people in here, and then we need to choose the file type, I'm going to say that's the user IDs, and then we need to choose that file, there's the golf people, click on Open, create the audience, it'll tell us that it's thanking us, and then we're going to say OK. It'll be listed there and it's waiting. We're just waiting for that to finish processing. So it'll take a couple minutes. While that's going on, we're going to go back and go to our campaigns and ads. We don't have any ads set up. So let's go ahead and go over and click on create an ad. Once we've done that, it'll bring up the screen asking us what type of ad we actually want to create. And we're going to say that we want to do a page post engagement. It's going to show us the Michigan Golf Course fans, which is what we wanted, and then the post. And we can see all the different posts. We want the first one that is already selected there. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that is selected. And then we're going to click on Continue. Once we click on Continue, you'll see that it shows us the post. It's all set there. And now what we need to do is make sure that it's using our custom audience. So go down to Custom Audiences, click in the box, You'll see our different custom audiences. There's our golf people. And you'll see that it's very specific. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down through the list, see if there's anything else that we want to change. But we did a lot of that already inside of ULead Pro. So we won't worry about that. Once we get down to the bottom for our account settings, most of that should be all set. I'm going to change that to a dollar a day. That is the smallest amount that you can do during a day is a dollar. Um, then we're going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to go ahead and click on review our order. It's going to bring up the summary of our order, the name, the audience that we did. Everything should be all set. Once we're happy with that and all the information is there that we need, uh, we could go back and edit it. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on place order and we click on place order. It's going to bring it up and ask for our payment and then you can go ahead and process that. Since this is just for demo purchase purposes, I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now, but that's how you would complete out the process. It is that simple to create an ad in Facebook. You just create your post, tell it you want to do it as an ad, 
create the ad, and then you just go ahead and tell it to use the custom audience. So now we've used Facebook to pull in our custom audience that we got from ULeadPro.